Moroni Kenshin episode 3. This is the final audition episode. But so far I haven't really come across anything that makes me dislike this show. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I watched this show online and I, um, I clicked on the episode 3 and this is a picture of, like, coral? It's gonna be a picture of coral for 21 minutes and 7 seconds? Okay, let's find an actual episode. Take two. It's an actual episode this time. Karu is teaching Yahiko the breathing exercises. And he's like, no, I want to learn how to fight and have fun. This is ridiculous. He runs to Kenshin and he's like, Kenshin, what the hell? And he's like, well, I don't intend on passing on my style, so you might as well just learn from Kaoru. So Kaoru and Yahiko are kind of working it out. And Yahiko's like, what is Kenshin's deal anyway? Why is he here? Why is he so strong and here? He has a really funny dialect way of speaking. He speaks like an older person who's really tough, but he's like a young, whippy kid. So Kaoru is sort of wondering like why Kenshin quit being Fantosai. There are a bunch of different rumors, but there's really no way of knowing. Unless she asks him, of course, but what are the chances she'll do that? Oh, actually she does try to ask him, but then he leaves while she's turned around. So the police show up and they're being kind of rude. And they're like, we're looking for Kenshin Himura. The Batosai, ah! Oh! She's kind of playing dumb though. She's like, what are you talking about? He, oh, he has nothing to do with that. Kairu tells Yahiko to run and go tell Kenshin that the police are there so he shouldn't come back. So actually the police meet up with him as he's walking home with the two little girls. And they're like, we challenge you to a match. If you win, you can go. And, and Kenshin's like, there's children here. I mean, no. I guess those were just arbitrary policemen because they just like laughed at him and walked away. So I guess they didn't have anything to do with the other policemen who are looking for him. So these police swordsmen are are like running around wreaking havoc. I mean they're they're confronting a shoplifter but they're like being overly aggressive about it and then when like the local police are like hey you know calm down they're like in the nose. Ouch. They have a license to kill. It's confusing that there's two groups of antagonist police officers right now. Yahiko shows up and he starts fighting these swordsman police officers. They kick him in the face and now they're all gonna be taught a lesson. <clears throat> so they've tied up the shoplifter, Yahiko, and then the owner of the shop who was like, don't, no, it's okay. And then the owner of the shop's daughter who was like, why are you arresting my dad? And they're going to kill all these people in public. So sad. I hate to think that this kind of stuff happened all the time back then, but I'm sure it did. Kenshin shows up! They have a manly showdown of chicken. Like, I'll point my sword at your face and you won't flinch. You're so very manly. But Kenshin doesn't want to draw his sword. Now they're gonna arrest the entire crowd. I pretty much... They want Kenshin to fight, so they're like, now let's not arrest them, let's just kill them all. So now Kenshin will draw his sword to protect people, just like Kaoru teaches. So the policemen start attacking, and Kenshin, of course, eliminates them very quickly. <laughs> all that's left is the one main guy. So the other policemen show up, just as Kaoru shows up too. Kenshin defeats the main guy pretty easily as the uh, other police officers who were actually out looking for him watch and they're like, Ooh, we found Batosai. As they're about to arrest Kenshin, Boss Man steps out of the carriage and he's like, hang on a second. Take care of the swordsman police and let Kenshin and Kaoru go. This guy's name is Yamagata and Kenshin's like, oh, he's Hashiburi, you have a mustache now. So actually they weren't trying to arrest him. He wanted to like thank him. He's like a big time politician. This guy wants to invite Kenshin to be part of the Imperial Army. He says that they're, his comrades are waiting for him. Very much like to have his talents as part of the government. And Kenshin's like, I don't want to receive that position as a result of my slaughtering ways. Kenshin basically just politely declines while also kind of insulting him at the same time. So Kenshin, Kaoru, and Yahiko leave, and this Mr. Yamagata guy is like, I'll get you next time, Kenshin. The Yahiko's kind of inspired, like, wow, you're so cool. And Kenshin's like, you're gonna learn the sword style to protect people rather than to kill people. 
All right, that's the end of episode three. So I do like this show. What do you guys think? Would it be better? The episodes seem kind of episodic, but that might change. Do you think this would be better to be uh, I'm watching this episode by episode, or would it be better to be Let's Examine, like One Piece and Evangelion and Code Yes? Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.